Chop, chop. All right, everybody. Dave Chang here, Chris Yang. What are we doing? We have, we're, we're giving ourselves, let's see, uh, stop, reset. I don't know why, we were gonna make ratatouille, and then we were gonna make a tart de tan, mm -hmm. and we were then gonna make, like with apples, tart de tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm not here tomorrow, and just so it's on the record, Chris has to make a ratatouille tart de tan. <laughs> just okay? unbelievable. And Ying's, Ying cooks the internet, but with no internet recipe. It's gonna be the first Ying right. cooks the internet. Internet's down. Yeah, and he's got to make it. And it, the, 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 the situation is his kids watched Ratatouille. This is true, actually. And for whatever reason, they want to eat a tart to tan and they want it together. So Chris has to make it tomorrow. So it's a real life situation. He's going to make it happen. You can't get out of it now. Now it's on the record. But in the meantime, I think we're also going to break the sound, sound barrier today. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but we're going to make sure that we're going to fail terribly because we're trying to cook live. None of these ingredients were what we were supposed to make. But I decided we have enough of the ingredients to make a apple, not apple pie. What are we gonna make? Chicken, Chicken pot, pot pie. pie. <laughs> Chicken pot pie from scratch, starting now. In 45 Go. minutes to an hour. I, I need you to chop, choppy chop. All right. Let me get another cutting board so we have room. Let me get another cutting board. Hurry, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's enough. I don't know, we'll, we'll go five scoops. Uh, uh, butter. No, that's not enough butter. You silly. You silly boy. <laughs> like, if, I, if we finish this with all of my fingers still attached, I'll be very surprised. Where's your peeler? I don't know where the peeler is. Just, just do, do, a, do a scrubby scrub. Scrub, scrub. We don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time to worry about potato skins. This is definitely not going to work. Oh, I was using steel wool. Nature's, nature's peeler. Um, this is definitely not going to work. I, I already know we're doomed for failure. What are you seeing? What, what, are, what are things in the world history where um, people do it knowing that they're going to lose? Is that, is that, you know, Pyrrhic victory is not it, right? Is there such a phrase for attempting to do something knowing full well you're going to lose, but giving all your effort? I mean, I guess it's I can only the only other that. time is like Thermopylae with I the Spartans, can, but um, no one would ever assume that we're Spartans. I can only think of Lord of the Rings. References. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Even the tiniest person can make a difference. <laughs> All right, so we have as a role model, Frodo and Bilbo Baggins, and uh, uh, what's his face? Gerard Butler. That's who we're trying to be. King Leonidas. <laughs> we're Frodo and, and Samwise with the body of Gerard Butler. Man, he's so good looking, that guy. <laughs> I don't know what's more attractive, his accent or those abs. We are so fucked. <laughs> All right, so is this a short crust? Is that what they say this is? From someone that hasn't really made it since cooking school, which is 2000? <laughs> it's, it's a good question. We're, we're making a 25th anniversary edition of the short Someone crust. call Jerry Saltz right now. <laughs> Modern art. Look at that. Okay. 
I think you should, we're gonna, we gotta cook this in a microwave. Okay. Sweat all the veg in the microwave. Here, take some butter. <laughs> <laughs> I carefully measured it out. No, because you gotta start a roux roux. Oh, you, oh, no, a... you know, we got cornstarch. Fuck the roux. Fuck yeah, it. Fuck it. we'll just do veg in there. A roux roux? <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm under pressure. We're starting a roux roux? There are services in the restaurant business where you literally have to pull this shit off. It's like, for example, a critic comes in mm. and you have a dumb, dumb server that gives a special from like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then they realize, they come to the past, they're like, chef, I really f***ed up. I gave him the f***ing. Uh, the cassoulet. Yeah, I gave him the cassoulet <laughs> with the duck confit special. And you're like, f***. <laughs> and you gotta make it happen. That's really what the restaurant business is. It's called Make It Happen. And actually, that's the name for this a, a series. Make it happen. Make it happen. All right. Filling. Come on, Dave. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. What do you yeah. need? What do you need? With the, where the f***ing stomp, the, the mashers. mashers go. The stompers. <laughs> the potato stompers. F*** <laughs> off. We got this. And the chicken We're cooking live. I don't want to drop 25, <laughs> no, I've already passed 25 F-bombs. And the chicken. 50 F-bombs. Hey, which one of these did you end up referring? This one. You know why? I Googled that and that one says that one's for losers. Uh, all right, we start the. That one's for losers. Salt. This one's for winners. Hey, I've never done this before. This makes sense. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> making a pate brise. Sucre. Sucre is sugar. Sugar. Brise. You oh. think that we could start one of those heartthrob social media accounts where you have like. Those pastry guys making uh, beautiful pastries and then like drawing a heart with the pati creme patisserie, you know? And then like, you think we can stop, but we can create like a heartthrob. Why do my fingers work on this microwave? I think we can do it, Chris. Uh, I think so. I don't know what I'm doing over here. No, do I. I'm just starting. Don't cut your fingers off like you did the other day. Literally. Oh my God. Nervous now? So nervous now. I hope you people... just put it into the, I can't believe you put it into the universe. Don't, don't do it, man. <laughs> you put it out there. It's Chekhov's gun, man. Now I have to do it. Chekhov from Star Wars, Star Trek? <laughs> You mean, yeah, that's the check you mean phaser? <laughs> it's, it's Chekhov's phaser. What are the other settings other than stun? Is there one that's just like straight up murder setting? I'm just reminding things? myself of uh, Tommy Boy. John Hancock, it's Herbie Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> that joke is not funny at all, but it's funny right now. Hey, is this the right? This looks pretty good, right? Get in there. Is there water in there? Yeah. Looks like a pie crust. Yeah. Your pie crust can be done before this filling has even begun to be started here. I, I, I just want to challenge all the YouTubers and social media culinary accounts to just do it live. Me. Just do it live. This is like beyond. This is beyond live. I was upstairs on my computer with Noel's. I like, come down. We're making a pot pie with Dave right now. Did you wake up today thinking that you were going to be making a pot pie? No, I have no idea. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, I do.
How much time we got? I don't know, it's not on there. I, it's, it's, it's. Someone start a clock right now. We got nine minutes have passed. We're definitely not making it. This would be hard for someone that's an expert pie maker, <laughs> let alone someone that doesn't make pies. Okay. Okay, what am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do here? If I pull this off, you better not make a crappy filling. I'm trying. I'm just microwaving. I'm just saying, like. All right, I'm gonna do the chicken microwaving too. Let's see, what should we do here? I'm probably gonna have to roll this out again after I cut out. Is this burner in frame? Yeah. That's as far as Okay. How in the hell do you have a crust already? <laughs> What's happening? Did you pray to your ancestors today? <laughs> huh? I forgot to make- Are you good Confucius boy? I forgot to burn my incense this morning. It's for you. Thank you. All right, I gotta do one of these guys. Do I look like one of those pastry dude. Instagram <laughs> models? Dude. Just say something, start saying some French nonsense. Como se dice? <laughs> Como se dice? French. Como se dice French in Espanol? <laughs> Como se dice? Como se dice? What's the French you can do? Como se dice? Not bad. Dude, dude, that is outrageous. I haven't that made a fucking pie crust minutes. ever. That was 15 minutes. I don't know why we're doing this like this, but it's absolutely insane and impossible. I don't even exactly oh, know shit. what a chicken pie is. I don't have is. any like fucking things to like, uh, uh, what are the peanuts doing now? Oh, to like blind bacon. bacon. 
You need... Foil, foil, foil. Right behind you, and you need rice. I don't need no. rice. A oh, pastry sheet. Foil. Yeah. I don't even remember, is it foil? Or foil. is it a... Foil. Are you, gonna, are you gonna dock it? <laughs> is it blind baking with foil? I don't remember. I don't remember these things. Yeah, I need... I really don't remember these things. Okay. I don't understand why it stops at 400 degrees. It maxes out? It maxes out. Put some time in there. <laughs> Everything you do, you're like, <laughs> it came with a little cloud of flour dust with it. Uh, you got any garlic? This left? is how Scarface died. <laughs> One more. One more. This is how Scarface died. <laughs> little known fact, he was baking pie. <laughs> when the feds came in, he's like, no, no, it's a pie, it's a pie, it's a pie. I'm reformed. <laughs> No way this doesn't work. Oh man. Bro, what are you doing? Just splattering everywhere. All right. I feel like it's like so two minutes down. We are down seven points. And we needed to get the ball back, and I just got the ball back. Don't throw an interception, man. I'm not going to. I'm looking for fish sauce. I don't know how big that fucking thing is. Let's see. Let's measure. Okay. That's a rough estimate. That's not a bad circle I just drew. Can't lie. I truly think you can only you, you can only do this at this speed. <laughs> if I ask you, if I give you all the time in the world to cut a perfect circle, it would not look that good. No question. No question. Into the fridge there you go. I'm gonna clean up, because this is mucho sucio. Your French is perfect. Como se dice, <laughs> como se dice French? <laughs> como se dice French? Como se dice Spanish? Uh, even if you're in the weeds, right? Which we're in right now, it's super important, even at home, clean your shit up, get reorganized, for me to check just where the hell he's at right now because I'm a little scared. We're fine over here. Oh man. God bless Momofuku Savory Salt. I gotta say, just made I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about my partner over here. It's done. We got, uh, what's 45 minus 18? 26, 27? 26. Can you see, Mom? I can do math.
Look at, I, I, I'm, proud, I'm proud of you. You've just graduated. What did I do? You're now a yellow belt. In sandbaggery. <laughs> look at this. Look at, look, at, look at him. Nobody told him what to do. He's going against the grain. Anybody watching this would make fun of him. You hack, you loser, you don't know how to cook. But if they know the dark arts, they know. Slytherin shit right here. <laughs> they know the lid and the scissors, man. Imagine Corey Lee doing something like that. <laughs> Whoop. So messy. Chef, what's going on here? I know, disaster. This is just like, Chig, it's just a total restaurant service where it's like, how long in that filling? <laughs> Crustacean is catching we, up. What are you doing? I gotta put, I gotta, I gotta cheat it. I'm so mad right now. What did I do? It's so messy. Everything's so messy. I don't even know what's going on in there. Freaking Lionel messy. Why didn't you, did you microwave the veg? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to compliment you without complimenting you. <laughs> Here's how you compliment me. Tastes a lot like you used my Momofuku <laughs> savory salt yeah. to make that taste good. <laughs> you know. Because like being pleasant to you is clearly <laughs> out of character. And I don't want to be mean, but it doesn't taste terrible. God. I guess I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Dude. Honestly, though, it doesn't taste terrible. Not taste terrible. I need. Um, we got milk and cream. Yeah, but I want to do a slurry, right? You want to take in with slurry? No. No? Oh, yeah. Make, you, you, we don't need to make a slurry slurry. Just throw some cornstarch in? Yeah. I need some black pepper, though. We got some cream. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take this to the real sandbagging limit. Oh, I should guess I should check on. All right, what do we got for time left? 20 minutes? 23 minutes? Wow, 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 wow. Let's see here. I just don't know how to make this oven hotter. I guess that's the best we got. Uh, all right, three more minutes. <clears throat> all right. We have time for a brief history on the pot pie. Pot pie was named for the Earl of Pot Pie, the sixth. Stop, stop talking. I got nothing. I got stop nothing. talking. I got nothing. All uh, right. Okay, listen. To do this by solo person would have been a folly. Not, not really possible. Agreed? Uh, maybe it could have been done. Uh, that's a tall order. The fact that you made a crust in under 20 is, is well, frankly making insane. A Crust is one thing. Making a good crust is another. Well, let's find it. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I didn't even see what you put. It. Did you put any weights on that? A what? Did you put weights on the foil? Or no, you put peanuts. Foil? Oh, that was the peanuts. So as a bonus, we're going to get some roasted peanuts out of this whole thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sweating. Do we have a brush? Yeah, right there.
little powdered roux. Wait, wait a second. This is how we're gonna do it. Powder. Chris, we're gonna fly in here and fix your mic. Good hazard pay for touching the sweaty cable there. <clears throat> I think we need more. More cornstarch? Mm. Okay. Crunchy. 20 minutes left. Just like our forefathers made. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. On high. Rapido, rapido, rapido. <laughs> Come on, say, do you say rapido in <laughs> Frances? Atras! <laughs> want to know recipes, you know how hard it would be to write a recipe? <laughs> For this situation? It was like six shakes and a couple eyes of glug, 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 glug. You know? But that's perfect. It is. Mm. I need more salt. No, whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit. A little bit. This is not. Oh. I've yet to see this crust. It just like moves around as a blur behind me. Well, we got some roasted peanuts out. Yep. Yeah. All right, it's good. Mmm. Good. Filling the station. All right, do the song and dance routine we've been practicing. Keep him busy, keep him busy. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we gotta figure something out when like, when we, this is when we need to cook another dish while we're waiting no, for this. No, it's not when we need yeah. to cook another yeah. dish. We gotta keep them entertained. We gotta keep all five people entertained. <laughs> Take requests. Okay. What's the time, Gabby? 17 minutes. Well. Mary kill boiled, roasted, fried peanuts. It's fried. Mary fried. No, I mean, Mary Fried. Yeah, no. <laughs> Boiled's good too, but hard to travel with, really difficult on long trips. Not gonna raise your children. Yeah, no. You could, I think I mean, a, you just have a dirty dalliance. You, kill, you with... kill peanuts up close. <laughs> you don't kill boiled peanuts up close, for sure. <laughs> and you, you fried. And you married the roasties. Yeah, because it's the it's it's just it's a long term partner that you've been hoping. That's for. right, because you 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 hook up with a fried peanut and you're like, oh baby, I could be with you for the rest of my life. Exactly. But then you're like, you know what? You're too crazy for me. Okay. You're too crazy. Okay. 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 Okay.
definitely not ready. Definitely made enough filling for six pies. Honestly, this little roasted peanut situation might be the best part of this whole thing. And that's how you make roasted peanuts. <laughs> we should just put this up as a roasted peanut recipe. <laughs> hey, it counts. It counts. <laughs> how to make roasted peanuts with a side of chicken pot pie. That's really funny. All right, moment of truth. Please, God. <laughs> On the dot. <clears throat> so we need to cut like a little chicken shape out of this and put it on top of there. Try it, make it. Oh, it's so hot. It's so f hot. What you chicken look like? That's what a chicken looks like. Dude, that looks great. Put it on, man. Put it on. <laughs> That's so good. Hey, draw some feathers on there. <laughs> draw some feathers? Oh Take my God, it looks so <laughs> Take that, Paul Bocuse. No, RIP, Paul Bocuse. <laughs> We're sexy French baker influencers now. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I can't see it, Gabby. 13 minutes, dude. We're cold chilling now. We could theoretically make this. Oh, too much snotty egg whites. We Literally started this with nothing, not even an idea of what a pot pie was gonna look like, how to make one. I'm not trying to celebrate too early though. Should I, should I do the, the fork up. divot? You're gonna fork it with 13 minutes ago? This is hubris. Dough on top of a very hot pie filling. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Well, this is one of those like a uh, this is a demi demi <laughs> fork. Oh! Um, vented and let's go. Ten minutes. Eleven minutes. Okay. Open. Oh. 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 Ah. No. No. My poor chicken. My poor chicken. Bye bye. Those not bad. Wrong. Well, 
Tasty? I needed salt. It is not good. I did not put enough salt in that thing. <laughs> it may look good, but taste no good. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! I was like, what <laughs> was that? And I looked down and it was a knife! <laughs> wow. Literally, after all of that. You know, I hope they play that in sl <laughs> slow motion forever just, and ever just, and ever. It's just like we swam across the English Channel and then drowned in the harbor. <laughs> like, just like. Oh my God. So right. let's go over what happened so far and replay. All right. Okay, rewinding as far back as. Um, how do we get here, you know, to, to, to even cook this stuff? What do we what do we do? We were thinking about, so we're here working on something else. But since everyone is here, we thought might as well work on another dish. And for whatever reason, I thought to myself, why don't I make a tart to ten? Why? I don't know. We didn't make it, which is why Chris Ying is going to make it. Maybe it's going to be a ratatouille to 10 or a tart to 10. I don't know. God damn you. We have, um, let's just go over the plan then for tomorrow. Got some puff pastry in the freezer. Puff pastry, we got eggplant, red bell pepper, onions, garlic, tomato, tomato, um, onions. So I would. Maybe even the same pie dough, but or or in this guy. That's what I was thinking if we had time. On this sheet tray. Uh-huh. Put you know like the really in vogue thing or what the TikTok kids do? They invert the puff pastry and they put it on. So, so you could shingle across all the You could veg. theoretically still make this a Yin Cooks the Internet. Just go off the TikTok trends. The TikTok trend is you put a bunch of shit here. Yeah. You caramelize the hell out of it. Yeah. Put some cheese on it. And then you say, look, it's keto friendly. And then um, you put the puff pastry on top. But it's important to say it's keto friendly and then not make it keto friendly. <laughs> I, think, I think if you, so I would, I would sheet out the tomatoes. Okay. So like a Bialdi, so true, the ratatouille, ratatouille, the ratatouille and ratatouille is not really a ratatouille. It's a bialdi, mm -hmm. which is Turkish in origin. Um, I would sheet out squash, and I would, I don't know, the eggplant, it's better if there's Japanese eggplant, but it's not. Yeah. So whatever, sheet it out, layer it, shingle. In another pan, probably I do it in there any day, I would just uh, put olive oil and thyme. If we had some basil, I'll put some, chiffon out some basil in there. and thinly sliced onions that have been cooked down. Ugh. Thinly sliced onions that have been cooked down and we'll put that on top. Also, what I would do is, I would cook the, you don't have to use that any day, but you can also cook it in a pot. I would thinly slice red bell peppers, clean de veins, de-seeded onions with aromatics. And I would put that on top of okay. the squash, tomato, eggplant. Do you think I need to I'm, cook the eggplant first to get some water out? You can salt it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But because it's so big, maybe I would just shingle half moons. Okay. Um, then I would have the the onion farce on top, and then I would smash down the puff pastry on top. Okay. But I would heavily grease this. Olive oil, tomatoes, shingle the squash, eggplant, then go. Cook down onions and peppers on top. Probably roast all of that off first, right? And then do puff pastry? Yeah. Okay. I would I would roast it off first. Then then when it gets nice and caramelized, I would also maybe put some some parmesan or something. Okay. Just to make sure that there's like a crust that develops in the bottom. Okay. And it's nice and caramelized. I might even put a little little sugar sugar in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, like just, a real tatan. Like, like almost make it like a tatan, which 
if you think about it, that might be crazy, but sugar is very prevalent in onions and tomatoes, and now we're just adding a little HGH. Emphasizing it. A little Balco, okay? Make it a little nice, nice and caramelized. Pop that in, get it pretty much brown, because that puff picture will cook quick. Put that in there, I don't know, 425, 20 minutes. And then you gotta come here live. I don't even know what you would put that on. It's such a funny shape. Maybe you have to do it like this. Let me see if this fits, hold on. I got you. Anyway. Um, Does that fit on here? Let's see if that fits on here. No, it's not gonna fit on there. Not even close. No. <laughs> That's how I ruined the whole thing. Yeah. I think you might have to do two, you might have to work, this is gonna be funny, you might need two people. You might need two, two people. Or a smaller cutting board. Oh, get the cutting board upstairs. Okay. Get that invert off there. Yeah. Um, that Gabby made. Yeah. Um, and, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh my God. May God be with you. Godspeed. Uh, well, what happened today was we were supposed to make that or tart to tan. We have four minutes left. I think we probably won't make it in time, but I'm feeling pretty good that we did our best. Surprisingly. Good job. Good job. Right? So Look we were good. I'm so sweaty. Why didn't I put on an apron? We were going to make this. Yeah. Instead, literally because of some dishes we were working on earlier, where I actually didn't even make the dish I was supposed to make. I was gonna make chicken and broccoli on Momofuku noodles. I didn't even make that. I made Taiwanese three cup chicken on Momofuku noodles. So, so for whatever reason, we had mirepoix. We had enough of those ingredients to just be like, Fuck it, let's just do chicken pot pie. And I said that as a joke to Ying earlier today and he was like trying not to acknowledge it. So as we would forget and not do it, but I did not forget, and it, here we are. It works a surprisingly small amount of time. Just ignoring what he said, hoping he forgets, works like 3% of the time. But I'm and all how about did that we 3%. make this? What do we, what do we do? Well, the added thing was like, I didn't know we were trying to do it in 45 minutes because we're also trying to get everybody out of here. So I was summoned from my desk upstairs, not knowing that this is what was gonna happen. Dave decided we were gonna divide and conquer. Filling, I was on team filling and he was team crust. You cubed all your cold butter. You developed a new cutting the butter into the flour method of using a potato masher. Well, maybe it's a, a, a pie. To, oh, pie maybe it's masher. not potatoes. Maybe it's not maybe a potato maybe smasher maybe at all. it was a pie, pie, pie butter masher. <laughs> He How used, do, you know? do you know the origins of a potato masher? Okay, fine. Do you? Fine. It was Don't the make that pie, assumption. It was the pie butter masher, which most people use this tool for, and small, a small minority use it to mash potatoes. You cut your butter in, ice water. <laughs> do you know what's going through my head right now? Pause, time out. You know what's going through my head right now? Literally. Cook faster. Dear God, get, get if you hotter. please help me make this pie accurate and looks beautiful, I will go to church and I will stop swearing and I'll be the best boy you've ever created in your life. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, I'm saying Hail Marys, but I can't remember. Of all the, of all the <laughs> prayers going on in the world right now, do you think, you think God is like, oh, I'm getting one from Chang about pot pie. Yeah. Let me put these other ones aside for a second and get this one to the top of the list. I got you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. The funny thing is, think how ridiculous all those prayers are that are going on. <laughs> like some of them are literally like, dear God, please let me live right now. I'm hanging off a cliff. Please, somebody save me. And you're like, please let my pie turn out brown. Yeah. In Christian theology, the eschatology of it all, mm. right? There's a literally thing called Swiss cheese theory mm -hmm. that... Prayers somehow go through and some don't, like Swiss cheese. And I remember learning this in class and be like, what the f are you talking? I could have been really high too, I don't remember, but I just remember being like, the Swiss cheese theory, and I don't even think I used the, the term eschatology even correctly, but I thought it sounded good. But the reality is there is such a thing in theology, Christian theology, as Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese 
yeah. theory. And I it had something to do with prayer and well I let me say this. Let me say this. If if the Lord Jesus <laughs> has a piece of Swiss cheese as a filter and only certain prayers are gonna get through. The smaller the prayer, the higher the chance it'll get through these holes. So this tiny prayer having to do with the brownness of a pie crust has a better chance of getting through than the big prayer that's like, please, God, rescue me from this flood. Or I'm also thinking Major League with Jobu. If I'm Serrano, if you don't help me now, hit this curveball. I say, you, Jobu. Jobu. That's another way of thinking. About so you cut, you, you made your pastry, cheated out two pieces, Truthfully, in my lifetime, I've never made pate sucre. Never. That is the, that is the one that goes in the sweets. Yeah. Um, this is maybe like the fourth or fifth time in my life I've made a pate brise, which is what I believe this is called. And I'm so unsure of what I just made, I don't even know the correct French terminology. And we are at time. One, zero. All right. So we see what it looks like at 45 minutes exactly. So again, just want to reiterate, this is literally, there was nothing here 45 minutes ago on the dot. Honestly. Honestly. It could go a little bit more brown. Should we, can they give us like five more minutes? Give us five more minutes on this pie, okay? We gotta put this in the boiler. 50 minute pie. Ah! 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 Royal, royal, royal. So, you. You think someone's used that term today? Royal, royal, royal today? In the world? I don't know. You may have, you may have just ensured You think that, that in any conversation someone's misused? There's a possibility someone's properly used the word term eschatology and royal bit royal. I don't think so. I think maybe in the history of mankind, no one's ever uttered those words. I'm trying to, under, I'm trying to figure out under what circumstances someone would say broiled royal. Never. <laughs> or you know how amazing it is to say uh, utter some phrases that nobody in the history of mankind has ever uttered? It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, nobody's talked about Swiss That's cheese That's Powerball theory. times 25 <laughs> pr probability here. Uh, yeah, we should go buy some Powerball tickets after. Somebody might have properly used the word eschatology. You just love said, saying this. You are loving saying this. Oh, because I, I just don't even know what it means. Is it eschatology or eschatol eschatology? I don't Esh know. M.C. Escher. Uh, Again, I was about to say that I've never made, I've, I've made pie dough so rarely in my life. And when I have, it's a crostata. You know what a crostata is? When you want to make a pie, <laughs> But it ain't going so well. So turn it to crostata. <laughs> That's a crostata. Hey, don't put the menu in. Change the <laughs> menu to crostata. <laughs> if you know, you know. This is, um, four, this is the 45 minute crostata. Uh, you blind baked the crust with these peanuts that turned into the main recipe. Yeah. Roasted peanuts. We did a very quick filling. Par cooked all the veg in the microwave with butter. Brown the chicken, butter, and momofuku savory salt. I think we're gonna do this. We made a gravy with milk we're gonna, and cornstarch. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. I think technically we got it under the gun. We could have served it, right? We could have served it. We would, yeah, we could have served it without killing anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want it to be perfect wanna, now. Yeah. Not gonna be perfect. I'm not promising anything perfect. Nothing perfect is happening. But we could have theoretically served it. So I think, since these are rules that we're making up, I think technically we made it. As the as a as a participant and the judge, I say it's okay. Yeah. The okay. floor over here is very flowery. Just if anybody was wondering. All right. I mean, that's pretty adorable. Ira, are you seeing this? That's sure. pretty adorable. It's adorable. Can you? Tilt it towards me, or is that going to maybe breach it? I can tell you where I screwed up. I tried to make it look more fancy with the fork. I... That was ne actually the difference in timing we needed. Yeah, next time I won't do that, because now it looks really <laughs>
<laughs> it really does. It looks really shitty. I gotta be honest. You really did a good job, man. Chicken's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's a pretty sick chicken, man. I mean, if I, you know, Arrivals on Netflix, if I was a heptopod and I saw that, I'd be like, well, that's chicken. <laughs> That's clearly a, a, an aviary family type of thing. Something. I mean, it couldn't, it couldn't be much else. Okay, get down there and then you're gonna look up at the lens so we can get What is the in. genus for chicken? Is it avian, aviary? Genus? Yeah. It's a, I don't know, oh, Gabby, find out for us. Is it, is it, is it's it, not, it's not a mammal. It's not a mammal. <laughs> it's not a, hi. Hey, happy. One more. I'm hating this. <laughs> okay, all right, let's do this. We gotta get the f out of here. All right. Oh, I may have actually just saved my whole evening. I have no uh, hot water in my house and no ability to cook. No hot water? Our hot water heater crapped out. It's in Avis. Avis, hey! Close enough. Type of And since you made the bird, here. Here you go. Here you go, look at that. Look at that. That looks beautiful. That is yours, my friend. Excellent work. You got this guy? I'm gonna do one more shot. Hmm. Excellent work. Can you tilt it towards me and like take a fork? Fork, fork yourself. God damn. The only thing that's wrong is that I don't think somebody, the person that was cutting the onions did not take a, sh uh, a layer of onion skin off. So I think, <laughs> so uh, every bite, you're more than likely gonna be chewing on something that, it's just. I don't know who that was <laughs> on onion duty. <laughs> Whoever that was on onion duty, they suck at cutting things. They suck. AM prep did a bad job of this. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> cheers. You know what? I gotta say, this this crust came out f***ing nice. Really nice? Yeah, I know. Way worse pies have been made in way more time than this pie. Or, legit, this is good. <laughs> no, no bullshit. Huh. Dude, dude. That's a, that's a 45 minute chicken pot pie from scratch. Homemade first, crust. First episode of Make It Happen. <laughs> In the can. We did it. Dude. Good job, good job. It's really good. It's like rigid, uh, rigidimate and good. <laughs> I subconsciously <laughs> dropped my L, like my mom. Alternative name for the show. Rigidimately good. <laughs> it's either Make It Happen or Rigidimately Good. Mm, it's so rigid. <laughs> Honest to God. Honest to God. It is fing good. <laughs> like I am I'm as shocked as anyone. Hey guys, thanks for watching uh TV series that we didn't even know we were making. <laughs> and we just named it Make It Happen. We made chicken pot pie in 45 minutes. We got it under the gun. And uh really appreciate your guys' support. We're just getting this channel started. Give us uh not five stars, that's our spot, that's our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> But so hit that subscribe. No, what did they say? This smash that smash like and that subscribe, subscribe button. button. <laughs> and we'll see you soon.